Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil. Sorry, I just knocked something off my desk. Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil, and welcome back to another Age of the Ring cast. We're on the meme fields of Rune. And... Dude. Hey, hey, hey! Alright, they don't, they don't care about a good intro. Well, fine. I won't give you one. We'll just get straight into it. In the top right, we've got a Gondor, and it is Metal Razor. A weird name. I'm sorry. But razors are usually made of metal, so calling it a metal razor is uh, a bit superfluous. But fuck it. Uh, his teammate is a Misty Mountains. It's Col Colossus. Alright, well, I don't think we've seen this guy before. And that is the weirdest way to set up your buildings. Alright, we're going to keep an eye on this guy, because clearly he's slightly deranged. I like, I, I sort of like it, but it also, um, I'm slightly fearful. Opposite him is another Gondor, and it's F... It, it's Freakta? Really? Lowercase f, capital R? <laughs> okay, okay, I, I give up sometimes. We have a Gondor, and to finish it all off, I'll go Okay, it's a third Gondor, and it's Buzz. As a kid, your favorite character from Toy Story, and as an adult, well, you know. But we got three Gondors, which means I have no chance in hell in finding out who is who. And even when the factions aren't mirrored, I don't know what's going on, so three of the same. Alright, Bob Buzz used rebuild on his own farm. We've got clansmen from Metal Razor going in, dying to other clansmen of Lamadon from Buzz. Buzz, Buzz, Buzz! Yeah, this is, uh... I, I, this is just a Friday night at my local. Could not tell you who's who. Alright, well, uh, me and uh, this kid won there. Oh god, right, wait! Is that your teammate? No, hold on, they're both- okay, okay, they're, they're both Buzz. Okay, nice. Metal Razor's first attack, I think, just blew up in his face. I don't think it went very well at all. In the bottom, we have an early Pippin. Which... Against certain comps, it's actually very good. Because the thing with Pippin is that at level 10, he gets Trollbane. And it's not hard to level up Hobbits, they level up very quickly. They kill like three goblins and they're halfway there. No, 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 no! I was just told- Okay, well, if my webcam was on, you would see just disappointment. Just abject disappointment. Um, but yeah, because of Trollbane, they technically can be good against Cave Trolls. The downside is they die to the weakest unit in the game. So, you know, you gotta win some, you gotta lose some. So, Metal Razor has uh, used his brain. And uh, gone with Pinneth Gellum to counter the uh, Clansman spam. Clansman just decided to- Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stop talking. I was just bigging up Pinneth Gellin, and they leveled- the, the Clansman leveled up off killing him. Okay. Okay. I think if you're in a Gondor mirror, and feel free to comment down below if you have a different opinion. Because in the last video, loads of people commented, and it was fun to read, and it was cool. Um, but I feel like Forlong is just the best bet in a mirror. Not only for his knockback and his damage buff, but the fear resist, obviously, but also- uh, clans, um, Axemen of Lost Act. Like, they just carve through everything. And I feel like that's just a much better bet than, like, rushing Faramir. I don't know, I feel, I, I feel like Forlong is probably the best bet, we'll see. Alright, Goblin's pushing up the middle. Or up the bottom, sorry. We got Double Goblin Cave, we got Mountain Orc Lodge coming in. And, I could not tell you who's Pinneth Gellin they are. I think these are Metal Razors. Who are these buzzers? Is this Metal Razors? Did I get that the wrong way around? Okay, that's Metal Razor and they're... Okay, that, well, that charge didn't go too well. Dude, how the hell am I supposed to tell? <laughs> you know what? Just use the minimap. You guys are fine. Alright, Pippin is back to finish what he started. Level 3 now. And what the hell is that? Blade of Western Earths. Oh! He gets to the level 3? Wow, that's actually really good. Anyway, trample the last of those goblins, very, very nice. That's probably why he's made a mountain orc lodge to make some spears. Uh, the rest of these goblins, unless he's got a, like, at least three or four. Um, yeah, these Pinneth Gellin are just going to run right against them. All right, it's looking good for Buzz. He's attacking farms. There is a builder at risk here. Another Pippin has come out. So that's two Pippins to zero. And an XD on the cards, perhaps. They took their sweet time, but they did get him, and they are probably going to get the farm as well. And, um... Yeah, it's not looking too good for Metal Razor. He doesn't have much, which makes me think that he's going to rush a hero. Because, uh, really, there should be no reason why his spam doesn't measure up. Alright. All of his Pinneth Gellin have just failed miserably. There's a second XD! Oh, my God. Alright, and these Pinneth Gellin... Yeah, I mean, they, they get a few kills, and then just get stuck, and then they die. 
But now he's out of builders, he's out of units, and Metal Razor is literally facing the wall right about now. He's made a Pippin! We have three Pippins in his moment of uh, peril. His most desperate hour, he sends for the Witless Halfling. Okay. Wait, no, Forlong is here as well. Okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. He's on aggressive stance. And he's just gonna start knocking everyone back. Whether they're on horse or not, he does not care. And he's in aggressive stance, he's just gonna pursue them. And was there... Okay, there's help from the goblins. He's got two Mountain Orc Spears there, that should help. Um, yeah, this uh, F. Reeter... God, that's such a bad name. Uh, is gonna try and cut off the uh, goblins. He's probably gonna finish off the tunnel here before leaving. But he should leave quickly because those spears will obviously just uh, skewer them. Is this Pippin again? Yep, yeah, Pippin just freaking chilling there. And almost tier 2 now for uh, Buzz. And I imagine Metal Razor, even though he's been getting his arse handed to him, has actually probably been doing pretty well. Alright, Rallyhorn's here. Forlong, how close is he? He's got Blade Master now. Pippin versus Pippin. Bruh. Two shot? No? Okay. You know what? Credit for Pippin. Alright, Blade Master's there. Knock back. Uh. Knock back. Uh. Yeah, I wasn't sure about Forlong uh, in the new patch, but nah, he's he's... He's, he's still good. I take it back. He's still good. Alright, Trebuchet now. For Metal Razor. I wonder, has anyone actually used a Trebuchet to kill a hero? I would love to get the final hit with a Trebuchet on a hero. Because it, it, it's... Like, it, it does very little damage to units. So it'd be funny if that ever did happen. Anyway, he has summoned it here. He's obviously just going to try and hit the barracks here. You've got Athelion Wood now. And Fallon having to retreat. There is a Boromir on the field. There's two Boromirs. There's Buzz. And there's this... Oh, they both rushed Boromir. This one's actually looking pretty low. All these archers in the back still buffed by Captain Sauna going in. And he needs to be careful because he is sort of past the halfway limit. Oh, he's actually very low now. The Trebuchet probably not going to get much value since... Um, What's-His-Face has rebuild. And I have to go with What's-His-Face because I can't remember Buzz. There we go, Buzz. Remembered it. But yeah, where one Boromir falters, another shall take his place. But Moosegarge is here. And no, that's not his name, but it's just fun to say it that way. Uh, Athelion Wood was probably the better bet. Um, we'll super, we'll uh, nullify that frozen waste because uh, Athelion Wood is a much stronger buff than that. I mean, he'll still get the buff from it, but like, Athelion Wood is a stronger buff. Anyway, rebuild. There it is. I bet you feel stupid now. Nope, he's gone for his own trebuchet. All right, trebuchet versus trebuchet. The glory of mirror match is Pinneth Galen. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try and guess who's uh, Pinneth Galen they are. Let's just assume that they're fucking dead. Yep, they're pretty much dead. All right, Boromir came back, but there's a full health Musgash there. Putrid Blade, now he's poisoned. And Musgash is pretty damn fast, and Borum is pretty damn slow. I don't think he's gonna get out of here. Stop, start, stop, start. So oh, he did actually stop, start. I was just joking. And lol, thanks for the free levels, boy. And uh, I can't believe the trebuchet didn't save him there. Oh my god, it's such a good... No, it's actually pretty good. Alright. Um, Musgash is pretty fast. I don't think these Pinneth Galen are gonna quite... Oh, that was a lot of damage, a lot of damage. And the Spearman come right on cue just in time. And yeah, more Pinneth Galen die. Kudos for going for uh, giant bats. They are very expensive. Don't go for the... No, no, no. You won't do it. No, I, I refuse. I refuse. I... No. No. I mean, you pay 850. If he gets the Boromir while under a fort, then you get what you pay for. They should be like 1850. Okay, no. Boromir's safe. Okay, phew. Man, I thought something crazy was going to happen. What the hell? Wait, how much speed does he get? 150% armor, knockback. It doesn't say anything about speed, but he was going like... Oh, he was going like something. I don't know. Alright, this barracks should go down. Dude, I think Metal Razor owes it to um, the Misty Mountains here. Musgash killed a hero, buffed his ally, and just carved through, took out two forward barracks, and is still going strong. And there's not much Buzz can do here. He's got a level 3 Boromir. He could try and sneak in, try and get the level 4, but even then the Horn of Gondor isn't going to do much because he doesn't have much to um, uh, combo it with because everything's fucking dead. Alright, the other Gondor is coming to send help now. And yeah, this bat, I guess, I, I was just surprised, maybe the fort was hitting other units, because shouldn't the fort kill bats very quickly? I don't know. If the fort wasn't hitting the bat, then just 
but that's his own fault because you can just tell your fort what to hit. You can like if you click on your fort and then right click an enemy, it'll it'll start hitting it. All right, Musgash gets out of there. He was actually quite fortunate not to, not to die from the pin of Galen. All right, Axel of Lost Knight coming back. That's not his Athelian Wood, so he's not getting buffed by it. And another frozen waste has just been used. This seems like a bit of a waste. And three levels now for Boromir, who nope didn't actually get level four. All right, Freakto versus Metal Razor up here. And Forlong is just cutting them down in the back. He did use his uh, Vitality, but he doesn't have the Aura, which is kind of weird. Uh, tier 3 now for Metal Razor. He's gone down the right-hand side, so that's uh, Dol Amroth, I'm guessing. I always get the Spellbook wrong. Double Giant Bats now. The lovely Age of the Ring team gives you so many toys to play with when you're Misty. So he can make a whole lot more, but Misty... Uh, sorry, the Bats are proving effective here. And he does go for the Dol Amroth Citadel. So, Denethor is out. He's probably spotted the fact that his opponent doesn't have fear resist because he doesn't have Forlong. So Stone of Anarian. Um, oh no, which one is it? It's this one. Yeah, high authority would be really effective here. Now poor Freakta, which is such a stupid name last time I say it. Uh, because he had to go um, bail out Buzz. Buzz, Buzz, Buzz. Misty have just basically been... Well, they've been free to just do whatever they want, so no harassment. They've got an army of goblins here. They've even got Gundabads as well. And uh, they had uh, those K-Bats as well. So, let's see. Hornogondor soon, right? The K-Bats do come in to just debuff the hell out of these guys. If there's any sort of leadership in here... Oh, yeah, there was, because Mazgash is there. Mazgash is going to have to retreat a little bit, though. But there's Hornogondor. And I think these Gundabads will be fine, but a lot of these other goblins will die. Alright, forward siege works for the Lamroth Citadel with the Lamroth Knights as well. And yeah, it seems Metal Razor after getting his literally his two front teeth kicked in. Um Yeah, is uh looking to finish this once and for all. Uh Buzz really doesn't have much. He has a level four Boromir, he's got some Anorian Knights, which I mean, okay, sure, why not? I I, I guess. But really doesn't have that much to finish him off. We got some white walls now from the uh Ruin of... Uh, is it Arnor or Angmar? We'll go with Angmar. Fuck it. 50-50. Wait, why is, why is Gandalf in there? What the hell? Was it Blast? Oh, straight to level 3. May the, may the Valar protect you. Immune to debuffs. Come on. Nope. He's just going to stand and fight. I mean, Gandalf can tussle with the best of them, but that might be one Gondorian too many, and they are fucking pissed. They don't want to hear his propaganda. Courage is your best defense. No, 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 no. We don't take orders from wizards. Get out of here. Wait, why is, wait, Pippin's fucking going for it. Pippin, Pippin with, with his troll bane? I mean, Gandalf's not a troll. I mean, maybe he could be. Is he actually gonna... Fucking bruh. I think he actually survived, but the idea of almost being killed by a Peregrine too, it just, it, it's sort of like dying from cringe, and then he just... Okay, well, his last roll of the dice was a Gandalf, and Pippin saw the end of that, so... I'll be honest, I'm not sure I've ever seen a Pippin do that. Pip, Pippin's, Pippin's good. Sometimes, if, if, if the enemy doesn't hit him and you just let Pippin do whatever the hell he wants, he's actually good. Because, as I said, he can just, like, one-shot trolls. I've never seen him one-shot Gandalf. That's a new one. Anyway, yeah, he's got nothing left. Uh, even Barm is just literally tagged out. The last of his archers <laughs> just got trampled by these Dol Emerald Knights. And now it's just the trebuchets uh, that are going to seal his fate. So, Buzz, you started strong. Wait, why is there another Gandalf? Whose is this? Oh, they both met Gandalf. I guess this was their... Their... They, they both went with the same idea. They both went with the same Hail Mary. Um, Gandalf's gonna have to level up a bit before he can actually hit that... Uh, bat. Gandalf seems to be... Okay, yeah, Fortune's gone down. I was just checking if it had to go down. And Gandalf is tanking those cavalry pretty well, actually. Usually cavalry is just the end of heroes when they start running away from them. I guess Gandalf is just built different. Wizard Blast, there it is. And Emrahil, going to start ch chomping away at him. But yeah, I would say that's GG. His teammate's already out. 10 points away from tier 4 for Metal Razor. Wait, why are there two Emrahils? Whose is this one? Almost got, well, almost got that Emrahil. And Pippin is back to kill not one Gandalf, but two. There's no way. Wait, there's Fallong chasing him. Where's the Pippin gone? 
Forlong's dead. Forlong's fucking dead. There's Pippin though. Pippin's gonna seal it. LO! <laughs> yeah, that's um, literally when the quiet kid at school finally snaps. That's basically Pippin this game. He didn't forget being called a fool of a Turkan Moria, and uh, yeah. <laughs> got his revenge and got his vengeance, I should say. Yeah, I'm not sure about that game. That game was weird. There were three gondolas. I had no idea what was going on, but how often do you see Pippin get killed by Gandalf? I would say never. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow, actually, uh, for a new BFM video, so stay tuned for that. And if you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. So next time we start, <gasps> goodbye.